That's Florence Griffith Joyner's sole 1988 Olympic Games record of 10.49 seconds in the women's 100 meter, which had stood strong since then. Yeah, no one has been able to surpass this record. That's not to say that nobody tried, because a lot of sprinters did. Although the track has notably seen a lot of skilled athletes since then, no one was able to break Florence's record in the women's 100 meter, and not for a lack of trying. Many tried and failed to break Flojo's record. Florence Griffith Joyner, also known as Flojo, was an American sprinter who set world records in the 100 meters, clocking at 10.49 seconds and 200 meters with the 21.34 seconds, both of which have stood since 1988. That was 35 years ago. Imagine those who are in their mid-30s right now. For their entire life, no one has beaten Griffith Joyner's record. That's really and truly amazing. Come on, admit it. Known as one of the greatest sprinters of all time, Flojo was a three-time Olympic champion, one-time world champion, two-time Olympic Games silver medalist, one-time world championship silver medalist, and held three world records throughout her career. And none of these were easy to achieve, and you know that. At the young age of seven, Florence began racing. However, she was forced to give up sports at the age of 19 to help support her family. Sprint coach Bob Kersey eventually found her working as a bank teller and helped her enroll at UCLA. Well, fortunately, someone saw her potential. Just imagine if Bob Kersey hadn't found her then. We'd have a different history when it comes to the 100-meter sprint history. At the 1984 Olympic Games, Griffith won a silver medal at the 200 meters, although her 15-centimeter long and widely painted fingernails earned her more attention from the press than her running. After marrying the 1984 triple jump Olympic champion and her coach Al Joyner in 1987, she changed her name to Florence Griffith Joyner and eventually picked up the nickname Flojo. Then, by 1988, as you all know, she set a world record in the women's 100 meter and 200 meter sprint. Unfortunately, in 1998, Griffith Joyner died in her sleep at the age of 38, the victim of a form of epileptic seizure that led her to suffocate. This was really tragic news to her family and fans across the globe. Still, more than 30 years after she sprinted to three gold medals in the Seoul 1988 Olympic Games, Griffith Joyner remains to be considered the fastest woman of all time. When I looked at the clock and I saw 10.49, I thought, wow, I was so excited. For sure, 10.49 is a breakneck speed that no one else can seem to do. However, many are wondering if Griffith Joyner's 100-meter world record will be broken this season. What do you think? Like I said earlier, the world's greatest female sprinters have tried, and so far failed, to lower Flojo's 10.49. Athletes have been trying to break this record for 35 years now. In fact, in 2021, Jamaican sprinter Elaine thompson Hurrah did just about the unthinkable as she won gold in the women's 100-meter final in Tokyo, clocking in at 10.61 seconds, breaking a Flojo record. For context, Flojo's time in the gold medal race at the 1988 U.S. Trials wound up being 10.61, equal to the new Olympic record thompson Harris set. Still, thompson Harris' new Olympic record time didn't surpass the world record Flojo set in 1988 which is an astounding 10.49 seconds in the women's 100-meter sprint. Set in the quarterfinals of the U.S. Olympic trials, Flojo powered through the finish line to become the first and only ever woman to dip under 10.5 seconds. Before that, the previous best had been a 10.76 run by Evelyn Ashford in Zurich four years earlier in 1984. She became the first woman ever to run sub-11 seconds in an Olympic Games. Meanwhile, the first IAAF-approved women's 100-meter record belongs to Marie Mezhlikova II, who came home in a time of 13.6 in August 1922. Two weeks later, that record was shattered by Britain's Mary Lanes, who registered 12.8 seconds in a meet in Paris, France. It wasn't until 1932 that someone was able to dip under 12 seconds when the Netherlands' Tolina Schurman broke the barrier in the Dutch city of Haarlem. 41 years later, the 11-second mark was finally beaten when East Germany's three-time Olympic champion Renate Stecher posted a time of 10.9 seconds in Leipzig. 
It was in 1975 that automatic timing became a thing where records could be timed accurately in the hundredths and not tenths of a second. By the time Ashford's record fell to Flojo in 1988, the record had been lowered from 10.88 seconds to 10.76 before the current mark of 10.49 was eventually posted in 1988. One athlete who has come close so far is Jamaican athlete Elaine Thompson Hara, who in August 2021 set a time of 10.54 seconds at the Prefontaine Classic. Away first time, this time, and Thompson Hara into a running fourth from left. Thompson Hera also going very well. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Richardson's nowhere. It's the fastest in the world this year. 10.54, the winning time. What a performance there. It's the Thompson Hera continues her form from Tokyo. What a statement. Placing her within 0 0.05 seconds of Flojo's record. However, in this golden age of women's sprinting, Thompson Hera isn't the only star who can contemplate the possibility of breaking the world record. Thompson Hera's fellow Jamaican athlete Shelly Ann Fraser Price is also edging closer than ever to breaking Flojo's 100 meter record. Fraser Price proved to be in exceptional form, especially after posting a personal best of 10.60 seconds a week after Thompson Hera's own 10.54 seconds. Shelly Ann Fraser Price quite spectacular there, and the place time Thompson Hera 10.64. One year later, Shelly Ann ran a blazing world-leading 10.62 seconds in the women's 100-meter final at the Monaco Diamond League in August 2022. Wow, these Jamaican sprinters are really something, aren't they? Besides these two Jamaican athletes, another athlete is intending to break Flojo's 100-meter record, and that's American track and field sprinter Shikari Richardson. Notably, the 2023 season has seen the reemergence of the precociously talented Shikari Richardson, whose performances so far this year have seen her enter the frame when the question is raised as to who is the current fastest woman on earth. We all know there are a lot of contenders for that title. Which athlete are you rooting for? You should know that six of the fastest times in history have been set since 2021, with Thompson Hera the closest to Flojo after registering a time of 10.54 in August 2021. In the same month, the third fastest time ever was claimed by Fraser Price, who stormed home in 10.60 seconds. While Shikari Richardson hasn't quite reached that level yet with a PB of 10.72 from 2021, the fastest time on her resume she set the fourth fastest all conditions time in history in April of this year with a time of 10.57, behind only Flojo and two-time Olympic 100 meter champion Thompson Hera on the all-time list. However, it's worth noting that said record set was with an illegal tailwind of plus 0.41, as the legal limit is plus 2.0. With another World Athletics Championships due to take place in August in the Paris 2024 Olympics coming next year, many are wondering if we can finally see Flojo's world record of Flojo's fall. If so, who's most likely to break it? Any guesses? While well, Thompson Harris' fastest ever time is 0.06 seconds ahead of Fraser Price's best, a closer look at their top 10 marks show that Fraser Price is in a league of her own when it comes to consistency. In fact, she holds the world record for the most times ever under 10.70 seconds, registering nine marks that have broken that barrier. In fact, all of those times have been set since 2021, proving that Mommy Rocket, as the 36-year-old athlete is fondly called by many, is in the form of her life. I've heard it and seen persons speak about me being the greatest and I'm like, wow, you know? To have your name mentioned, in the, those kind of conversations, you know, and what it does for me is just say, wow. Thompson Hera, on the other hand, is equally bullish when it comes to beating Flojo's mark, saying before last year's Worlds, I think once I have that lineup and that good weather, it's possible. Her confidence is not completely unfounded, especially when the raw pace is taken into account. Her top speed of 39.7 kilometers per hour set at Tokyo 2020 eclipsed Griffith Joyner's best of 39.1 kilometers per hour from 1988. Meanwhile, Shikari Richardson, although she may not yet be on the same level as Thompson Hera or Fraser Price, many believe that we are yet to see the best of Richardson. In fact, so far in her career, Richardson has produced five illegal times under 10.80 seconds, not including that windy 10.57 in April 2023. Yes, consistency has sometimes been an issue, 
But Shikari's early season from this year includes victory in a meet record of 10.76 seconds at the Diamond League season opener in Doha in early May. This shows that she's back to her best after a challenging 2022. People like you and I, I'm sure, hope that she remains at her best throughout this season. As Jamaica's athletes Elaine Thompson-Hara and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price enter the latter stages of their careers, there is no other sprinter today who captures the attention of the public quite like Shikari. More than that, if she can stay fit and healthy throughout the season, she may just be able to challenge the legendary Thompson-Hara and Fraser-Price when the medals are on the line at Paris 2024. All that said, Will 2023 embark the year that Florence Griffith Joyner's sole 1988 Olympic Games record of 10.49 seconds in the women's 100 meter, which stood strong for three and a half decades, would finally be broken? For now, we can keep an eye on Jamaican athletes Elaine Thompson-Hara and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, as well as American track and field sprinter Shikari Richardson to see if they will be able to beat Flojo's record. Or at least edge closer than ever to her 10.49 record, unbeatable for 35 years now. Speaking of unbeatable, do you know who else plans to be unbeatable this season? Make sure to watch this.